Tory Overhill this time. But on the last video, I explained about this 20 and 60 FPS, how um, 20 is a lot better than 60. I want to tell you two things in this video. One, uh, oh, a quick note. Fuck 20 and fuck 60. Use 30. 30, uh, you run, it runs like 20. But you can kick doors open and do the things you could do in 60 that you couldn't do in 20, right? But that's not about that. That's the, today's video is about the lasers. Um, I noticed this when I was looking at the variable frame rate. I looked under it and I saw this. Code for lasers, right? And I never, I, I was like, what the fuck, you know? But you can have, um, I've got it in green, right? Now, this will be at minus one, okay? Uh, that's, how this, this, that's how it'll look at the beginning, right? It'll be at minus one. You want to turn that just to one, okay? Change that to just one, right? Now, if you want to change it from minus one to one, you can actually fuck with the laser now. If you say you change it to green, 255, and keep this at minus one, it's going to stay red, okay? You can lock it. But, um, you can actually, if I wanted to, in the game, I've got a green, right? So in all my videos, you see, uh, I always use a green laser, right? I like green, it's a dead, it's a dead, um, a dead bright colour, and, uh, it's a great colour for, um, for, kit, for hit, hitting good shots. But, red, red's your default, um, it's not the best, I think red's pretty open. Uh, I played through the entire PS2 version of Resident Evil 4 with a red laser. I'm kind of sick of it, so I went with green laser this time. Green's great. Blue's just as cool. I keep mind the A. I don't know what the A does. Um, I think it's just the um, off capacity, perhaps, of the laser. But I've got it at one, so that's how you, you know you can edit your laser pretty much. Uh, I could show you some gameplay with the laser, but I, um, I can't show you them all. You know, I mean, there's three, but. It would take me a bit of editing to do that, to put something like that together. You know what? Uh, I'll do it. I'll, right, I'll be back in a second, guys. I'm going to change my... Let's show you it red first, okay? I'll show you it in red to start with, okay? Right, back in a second, guys, and you'll see a red laser. Okay, people. All right, guys. All right, guys. I'm going to show you the first laser right now. First laser in the game is uh, the red laser. So the red laser is pretty standard. Uh, as you can see, uh, I have a red laser. The um, default laser that you will play the game with. Um, if you don't know how to do this, you'll have to play this game with this laser, and it's quite. It's a. Uh, I think it's pretty shit because uh, I like green. I like lighter colours, but red's okay. I can say red's alright because um. For the majority of the console versions, I did use a red laser, um, and I think you can change it with 5, and uh, you can change it in the DS version on uh, Resident Evil uh, Mercenaries 3D, but this is um, the default red laser, so yeah, okay. Okay, right guys, moving on. Uh, this is the second laser you can use in the game, the one I play the PC version with, which is pretty badass, I like this laser. It's the green one, I love the green laser, uh, as you can see it stands out a lot more from the red. Um, uh, it's really, it's actually really good, uh, I gotta admit, this, but this laser is the coolest laser, I think, because uh, just how, just how um, it stands out in your gun, you know. Like, with the lasers, I've heard people say they would want to, like, remove their laser from the weapon. But, in this game, uh, I think green's pretty cool, because uh, green, it's more realistic, I think, personally. Most lasers are red, but you get the, the old, you know, green laser every now and then. I've seen this in a few movies, and uh, I like this laser, pretty much. Good laser. Okay, right guys, uh, I've not seen this one yet, I've not seen this, this laser, uh, the blue one, okay, blue one, wow, the blue one looks kind of, um, blue one's like, oh, oh. I, I, I can imagine, you, 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 I can imagine this, right, see if you were colorblind, you would use this, you would use the blue one, I can't fucking, I can't make it up, man, 
I can see it, but I mean, it's like, it's dead, it's, it's, it's fucking almost impossible. How the fuck would you land shots with that? I mean, honestly, come on. Blue is like more transparent than red, you know, you can sort of see through it almost. The firing, I mean, it doesn't really help you. Yeah, I am going to stick with green. Well, that was all the lasers in Resident Evil 4, guys. I hope you liked them. Remember, you can go to the, um, the config thing, like I said, in the um, frame rate video. And, uh, you can... Uh, see how I hit that? Wow. Um, and uh, you can uh, you can fuck with your laser if you want, and uh, you can also um, change your frame rate in the game. And uh, the game the game runs great. Not in the thirty, by the way. Just I'll put it like that. But yeah, I'm gonna end it here, guys. I'm Dan Metal Gamer. That was another tutorial for Resident Evil 4: How you change your laser. So peace out, guys, and bye.